Hello, thank you for coming to the tutorial. I want to show you how to make a hand print lily. So a lily is a type of flower and we're going to try to replicate it by using our hand print. So just cute little flowers like this that you can use to uh, brighten up your, your room, your kitchen, or give to somebody on Mother's Day or just a nice little thing to have around for spring. So for these, what you need is um, some construction paper. Um, I just chose pink for this because I had some pink laying around. You can choose any color that you want. You need um, some pipe cleaners, green and yellow. Need some tape and some scissors and then something to trace with. So you just take, um, and if you wanna make multiple lilies, you can fold the paper in half and do this and then cut out two at a time if you wanna make a whole, whole bouquet. Otherwise, if you just wanna make one, I'll just show you how to do that here. So you take your hand and you wanna spread out your fingers and you wanna trace around on a piece of paper. And it's okay if you're not exactly that great with tracing, it's completely okay. So now at the bottom, you wanna just round it out like that. And then you wanna cut it out. Doesn't have to be exact at all. You just wanna make sure that you round out the bottom. So they're really, really easy and fun little project. And I mean, you can keep, you can do this, you know, for hours on end. You can use any kind of paper. You can even use recycled magazines if you rather go that route or newspapers. Um, this is just a really, really easy craft to do with any kind of paper you have around. So here is our lily flower. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna roll this so, it, so the bottom of it makes a cone. So you might have to take a little bit of practice to do this, but this is, that's okay. But you just wanna roll the bottom. You kinda, you don't wanna roll the whole, all the fingers, you wanna kinda keep it a little bit loose. We just want that cone shape on the very bottom. So you're gonna roll it like that. So you kind of want it to look like this. You want a hole big enough for your pipe cleaner to go through. So it might be the easiest just to take some tape, some clear tape, and then just tape it off right here. If you don't want to use tape, you can use some stick glue to put on the palm before you roll it, but it might take a little bit of time for it to get um, to fully stick. So then here are your, your uh, petals of your flower. So what you wanna do is take something to roll it with, like a pencil or a pen or a marker, and taking the, each individual petals, which are your fingers, you wanna take it and you wanna roll it back, just like that. And when you let go, it creates this uh, petal that curls downward. So you wanna keep doing that for the other ones. And it looks like I kind of rolled mine a little bit too tight because you see this is what, this is actually my thumb that got caught in there. Um, if you if you roll it the other way so that your thumb is on the outside, so if you roll it this way in, then you'll be able to have that part. But I rolled it the wrong way, so if you roll it the other way, you'll be able to get your thumb in there. Okay, so now and you can probably still curl that a little bit. It can be kind of like the really short bit. There we go. Okay, so then we wanna move on to the in, inner part of the flower. So you take your yellow, and you can also use white or any color you want. Um, cut this in half. And you kinda of wanna bend it so it looks like, kind of like this. So you wanna bend it so it has something like that, and then you wanna take your green and put a little hook in it like this. 
So what we're going to do is hook this part right here like this and we're going to punch or put down the green part and then we're going to take this yellow and we're going to wrap it down. So you don't need to wrap it super tight. You're just getting it, wrapping it all the way down till you meet the green part and then just twist it all together so that you have the yellow part on top and then you just slide it into your flower and then you have a paper lily. See? And if you get a bunch of them together, you can put them together to make a little bouquet. Um, you can do different colors, uh, different big hands, little hands, tie it together with a bow. These are definitely some flowers that you don't have to worry about watering. There you go.